So welcome everyone once again to the amazing podcast called Riding Tiger with Arijit. And guess what? Today we have an amazing entrepreneur with us. Bobby, how are you doing? I am great, Arijit. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be on your podcast. Thank you so much. So for the audience, Bobby is a serial entrepreneur and uh, he is from U.S. and doing massive amount of work. Bobby, before we go deep into uh, probably your, your life and how you started your um, journey, why don't you give a small introduction what all you are doing and the new initiatives that you have? My name is Bobby Borisov, and like uh, Arjit mentioned, I am uh, an entrepreneur. I have done a lot of different businesses from investing, inventing products, real estate development, and I've done it through the US and the world. And my la latest venture is a technology platform, which uh, we are launching right now as we speak in India. And um, our goal is to be one of the three biggest online platforms within five years in India. That's what I'm doing now. Super. Uh, Bobby, I heard that uh, you are basically from another part of the world. You are actually from Europe. And then you moved to a completely different country for work. And then you established yourself into US. Could you please talk about your childhood and not, not a lot of people have uh, the courage to ride on the top of a tiger. So for the, uh, another reference for the audience, tiger means the business. So as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur always take the risk to start an exciting journey on the top of someone which he or she can't stop. That's the tiger. That's the business. If he stops, either the business will kill them or they need to kill the business. So it's a never-ending journey for them. So how, how exactly this, this thing happened? How, what is your life? How you moved from Europe? What was your childhood? What was your dream that went to a passion, to a risk-taking thing, and then you... you went to a mind-blowing journey of your life of entrepreneurship. Well, thank you. That's, that's, uh, I can talk for hours and for, for days on that. I have a lot of things have happened in my life, but I'll try to put it in a short version. And please uh, stop me and ask me any questions along the way. I grew up and I'm born in Bulgaria. That is... Uh, a small country located in Eastern Europe. It used to be part of the USSR. Uh, it used to be a communist country. So I saw the communist when it, um, in, 18, in 1989, when the communist broke, I saw how people change and they become free democracy. And that is after those years, I was a small kid. I didn't know what is happening, but I decided to go and explore the world. So I am I always been adventurous until today and I will always stay adventurous. And when we talk about dreams, I have always huge dreams. I mean dreams are I mean I can I can dream big. And um I I always want to be my own boss. I always wanted to be and I didn't even know I had the courage until I have done some big ventures and big deals. And people told me, wow, you have the courage to do these things. You have the vision. And I say, really? So I look back and I realize, yeah, that's, that's right. And if, you, if I compare myself with other people, I realize that they have a different set of skills. But uh, through my journey, so I kind of escaped from Bulgaria during these years. You cannot travel freely like you travel nowadays. So I had to uh, go first. I went to France. I didn't know the language. I didn't speak any French. I was kind of semi-illegal. And um, the only uh, choices I had is to join the, the army. So I joined the French Foreign Legion. This is a very elite army at that time. 
So I did a good training and from there on, I did different jobs. I traveled through different countries and um, I lived in Paris for a year in France. I lived in Germany four years. I went to University of uh, Cologne. I studied economy, which I never finished because I always was busy doing my businesses, always on the road. And uh, through my journeys and deals, I met some great and exciting people, such as um, uh, the grandson of the original Louis Vuitton founder in France. I even did some deals with them. I met with uh, the Rockefeller, uh, Rockefeller family in New York, so I did some businesses with them. And in 2006, in the summer, I arrived from Germany to the U.S., and uh, since then, I became a few years later a U.S. citizen. And since then, I've been living in the U.S. and doing from year to year, always bigger and larger businesses. And now I'm thankful to be on the podcast with Arijit and uh, growing the empire and having Arijit part of our family too. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And you know what? For all the audience, uh, I can see that people started share from uh, live show i'm really blessed that you guys are liking it because he's a kind of person you will fall loving with it's not about only likes well coming back to uh the the concept of creating an amazing system that bobby is creating let me tell you bobby actually created a platform i would say which is called bobby 24. it's a common app wherein through which you can utilize use and enjoy in different kind of application into the entire history of application domain bobby could you please enlighten us about the platform that you have created and how people can use it and what's the advantage of using it it's uh the platform is called bobby 24 it's my name of course and 24 stands for we are available all around the clock 24 7. anytime you need any service uh anything to buy any anything you can get on any app you can get it on barbie 24 pretty much so if you take the 500 most used apps in india internationally so that's what the, all the services that we are providing and we will be providing on barbie 24 we are building it as we speak now the main the main goal and um, the main idea of Bobby 24 I found it based on my journey and experiences over 25 years and uh, as we know India is growing and India have huge population and one thing that I learned in my early age and helped me a lot is um, if you want to help somebody don't give them a fish, but teach them how to fish. Now, what Bobby24 is doing is we are bringing uh, education and inspiration to the people in India. We want to take the people from the villages that cannot read, don't know how to use the cell phone, and we want to teach them to become their own bosses and entrepreneurs in the big city, in the small city, in their city, whichever that is. And uh, I've been part of those changes, first starting uh, in uh, Bulgaria when it turned from communists to Democrats. Then I worked closely with China over the last 10, 15 years, and I saw how people change in China uh, how they grew up and made a lot of money. And I can see similar thing is happening with India. And I do believe that India will outgrow China in the next few years, the way it's going. So I want to be part of the journey and I want to help as many people as I can, or at least share my experience and be part of their journey and help them to grow and to build their businesses, their empires and continue their families. Amazing. So in a way you are creating a platform where people can be uh, free from uh, something called finance. So they can be financially 
not dependent to others. Rather, they can earn their own money. They can have a good livelihood. It's a super cool concept as a concept. And when we are talking about India, India actually needs that. There are places in India where we have people who are not bankable. We have, we have clusters wherein people don't earn money uh, enough to send their kids to schools. And I worked personally with all those kind of clusters in my life and I've seen how much it is needed. Not only in India, I can talk about probably places like Vietnam, which is also another uh, area where these things can be explored. For, for the sake of understanding, Bobby, could you please explain, say for an example, if we take an example of Asia as a whole, or maybe Africa as a whole. Um, let's take an example of, a, of someone who is maybe good in designing dresses. Now, they want to sell their product through Bobby 24. So how much help you are actually giving to them? What's the opportunity? There are e-commerce portal, but there is Bobby 24. So if we compare both of them, I will vote for Bobby 24, of course. But for the audience, could you please explain why uh, it's different and how people can earn? Absolutely. So it's, um, it's you brought a very valid point. Why would I use Bobby 24 and not Amazon, who has millions and billions of clients, right? Because Bobby 24, we offer free tools what other companies like Slack they are charging for it. And this is this free tools are to build your business. And through being on Bobby 24, you can connect like otherwise you would connect on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Facebook to relevant people that can help you with your business because everybody has different qualities. We may live in different countries, uh, India, US, Bulgaria, Russia, China, but we're all the same at the end of the day. We all need to eat, we all need to sleep, we have the basic, we need to wear clothes, we need to have, I don't know, who choose to have a religion, political party, we need to believe in something, some people like me believe in ourselves, in myself. So we are all human. And once a, a dress designer or clothing designer come to Barbie 24, we are offering the free tools for them to create uh, their own uh, marketing, their own listing, their own uh, uh, similar tools that are offered on Google. We're offering all that for free to all people. And also they can sell on the same platform and they can sell for the half of the price they're going to pay on Amazon. So we are offering all these services in one. It's becoming like a one marketplace. And um, it's, um, I'm not sure in India about the Walmart, but everybody knows Walmart concept. So basically you have so many different small shops. Imagine that clothing designer is going to bring their clothes to, to Walmart. So in Walmart, you can buy anything, 24 hours, right? So that's similar concept for the online what we do. We offer a lot of free tools and a huge marketplace for people to succeed. Plus education, if they need any tutorials on anything, uh, we teach them how to record uh, videos to market their products. So we do everything, everything on one place. Super. You know what, Bobby, I was talking to three uh, people basically from Europe. One guy is from Spain. He's uh, really passionate, wanted to give free education to the kids. And, uh, and he actually shifted from Florida to Spain with a passion to give education. So there are guys who are actually looking for creating video, creating content, looking for a marketplace to connect with the right kind of audience for them so that it grows and it grows and it connects. True, there is a big need. And if I'm not wrong, if we, if we look at the global structure, uh, if you look at Asia, we have 24 seven as a store concept, which is small store. You can get very uh, everything in a very cheap price. If you're traveling to Thailand, you will see that. 
if we are going to China, we have a similar concept wherein you can go, hop in, you can buy. These things are growing like anything. And in this connected world, um, for all the audience, for all the potential people who are thinking Bobby24 as their potential platform to grow is an opportunity to bring their strength and say that, hey, you know what? I have this with me. This is my USP. This is my strength. So why don't we collaborate and handshake with each other? And Bobby24 becomes a platform to sell and give them the consumer. That gives a perfect win-win situation for all of them. So Bobby, to be very honest, you are making a benchmark in the history of mankind. Congratulations for that. Bobby, I'll be asking you um, a very different question, which is not related to platform, but a question which is probably very close to my heart. I'm sure that it's not the only reason you don't want to be your, you know, you don't want to have some boss. That's the reason you started your entrepreneurial life. I'm sure there is another reason. I, I'm sure that there is a passion and there is a different kind of desire in your mind which drove you towards entrepreneurship. What's that? It's, uh, it's simple. I want to make the world to be a better place. I want to leave a legacy. I mean, we are looking, we are watching right now what is happening with uh, Afghanistan, Taliban's, ISIS. Um, any, any impact we can do, small or big, we should do it. I mean, and there's another huge crisis that are coming and becoming reality, and that's global warming. Yep. And that, I mean, uh, it, it may wipe the whole planet quickly. So the nature is so powerful. And um, I, I think it's, it's we need to be aware of what is going on. And like you mentioned about education, and I'm a big supporter of uh, educating kids and teaching them on common sense, not just math and school, but common sense to make decisions for themselves. And um, um, more, if you, ex if you explore that deep in the roots, even in the US, there's millions of kids that are homeless. And if you look at the roots, it's, um, it's not the kids, it's the parents that needs to be addressed first before the kids. And uh, how do you help somebody at seven, eight years old when they don't know what the world is about? So they give, they get the directions from their parents, right? So we have to do, we have to address things in their fundamentals. And um, even uh, uh, if we look at the history, what Bobby 24 is nothing different than a marketplace that existed in Egypt, I don't know, 20,000 years ago. So we all need that to meet, to talk about things, to talk about politics, religion, whatever that is, and sell our products, buy products, meet people. So we are human. It's basically what Bobby24 is just, it's like, it's one big marketplace where we can exchange products, ideas. And the most important thing is the energy to are successful and you know that ideas are more important than money. I started without money and I thought, okay, I used to have this belief, I need money. I like, okay, if I go to a store to buy something, I need money. If I start business, I need money, but no. I, if you have idea, the idea is more powerful because there's plenty of capital chasing opportunities every day. There's millions of people working on chasing opportunities every day meaning millions of people with plenty of money, deep pockets, right? They've been family offices, venture capital, banks, investors, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's all about the idea. If you have a great idea, you make a lot of money and you can change the world. It's all about the idea. There's tons of people in our history have proved that, that that's the truth. Super, super. You know why I asked you this question? Because a lot of people usually get confused between two terms, business and entrepreneurship. I always say entrepreneurs usually drive, drove, run, jump in passion, not because of money. A business person, on the other hand, they usually look for money first 
then the passion is there in due course of their journey. But entrepreneurship always starts, sparks with a small light, which is probably a small idea. We compare that with an idea. And they go for something which is changing the world. And that's what your passion is. And really kudos to you that you want to give back to the community. It's true that our world is changing. It's true what happened in Afghanistan is not good. Even the same thing happened in Bangladesh in 1970s. Um, and probably during, during before that, if you look at our own country, I'm from Calcutta and uh, our neighbor country is Bangladesh. And uh, my ancestors used to be there in that country with our huge properties and all, but somehow due to partition, they, they have to leave that country. They, have, they became refugee came to this country. So my grandfather uh, used to be a doctor and he had five children and uh, he lost his, his brother during this all this mess. And uh, trust me or not, probably there was no proper video, but it was horrible. It was horrible. Uh, they saw, I heard all those stories. They saw a full train of dead people, which is coming from Bangladesh to India. And all these trains are full of dead bodies with blood. We need to stop all these things. As an entrepreneur, we need to have our own thought process to give back in a way so that the world can become beautiful. And the reason we make money, a lot of people ask us this, that are you guys monk? Like you don't want to earn money? The answer is yes, we want to earn money. If we don't earn money, we cannot give it back to the community. It's not possible. If you earn money and then you have a desire, a passion that you will be probably doing the execution and then you give back to the community, that's the cycle. So there is a very simple line um, in Sanskrit. I'm a lover of Sanskrit. I'll, I'll take that with your permission. It's called Chakravart Parivartante Dukhanicha Sukhanicha. Chakravart Parivartante Dukhanicha Sukhanicha. Yeah. So it's similar to you know Russian uh, language because these languages are pretty much connected. It's a very old language, probably a dead language, but I speak that somehow I, I know how to write and read. The meaning of this line is life is all about a circle of happiness and sorrow. And it's a cycle. And this cycle will always continue. So what you have done earlier in your early life, Bobby, you have dedicated a lot of your time, energy. You suffered a lot in your earlier life. And I'm sure this cycle is now opposite. You're going to enjoy it and giving back to the community. Wish you all the luck, Bobby, all the happiness, all the strength from the universe, from God, any religion. I really don't care. I believe in all the religions to make it success. I'm sure together we're going to make Bobby24 a great success. Thank you so much, Bobby, to be here in the podcast. It's still nascent, it's still a baby. But yes, we are bringing a lot of change makers in this show so that you know what are the kind of things happening in the entire world. And probably feel free to communicate with them, connect with them, and do some good collaboration with them. Thank you, Bobby, once again for coming here and sharing your amazing journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Arjit. My pleasure. If I can help something, I'm there.